show you how to install a flush panel access, a flush, an access panel which is flush, uh, which means there's no architrave or trimming around it. It goes straight up, it's flush with the ceiling and it has a set bead around it so you can set around it. And um, it looks really smart. So we've got a 560 by 560. This one is made by Wall War Tools. They make some great, great products. The existing hole was over here and we're moving it over here. Our trusses run this way and they are 560 apart. So that's perfect. So we've got a 560 by 560. So it's going in here. It's gonna go between here, 560. And then we're just gonna measure out evenly, both sides, 560. And in between the trusses, we're gonna add timber. Uh, 560 apart and then we'll open this up right now we'll simply screw the edges it's really simple to install and actually if you have a an old timber one at home you can actually get one of these and update it very easily so my lovely assistant Eugene is getting that ready over there and here it is these off. That's pretty much it. Let's unwrap it. Okay, that's not good. That'll straighten back up. That's fine. But pretty much, you have about 560 by 560. These actually bend out like this and you screw it onto the trusses and the timber knobs that you put on so that pretty much as you see Eugene is over there getting the center line that will pretty much go in like that it'll get screwed up tight and then it'll get set around like that and then it's all flush and then this gets painted if you get it open with these is you just twist these and they That pops up like that, and you can get in. So that's it, very simple, strong, and uh, definitely a nice finish. So, not sure in this video we'll show you the total finish, so I'll probably upload it quickly, but we'll definitely show you at the end how it looks in the ceiling, and uh, the client will be happy, everyone will be happy. So let's, um, let's get the installation process underway. Should have set it to 13 mil. Don't tell me, tell the audience. <laughs> Should have set it to 13 mil. I might sweat now. Just trying to go through the day without sweating.
sounds like timber. Try it. No, can't flick it, can't jag it. You need to paint this one this with the hook. One of yours. You need to paint this one with the hook. Give me yours and I'll try it. No, you need to paint it one with the hook on it so you can get a little catch it. No, you're not going to go. It should be hollow. Anyway, the whole lot of it is hollow. Well, there you go. You're, you're off. Here is a 560. A 560. Cut out. Oh, should have been on the camera. some timber here and timber there. You're gonna screw that up, screw that up, clean this back. Alrighty, next step, we'll measure. Make sure that there's 560 in there too. Yeah. So locate your access panel. But you might have to push the couple of mil to get you. Yeah. Back. Edit that out, took a second. Yeah, just where we left them. Either use these, probably actually, probably we can go a little bit longer. No, this would be right. Use that. But, um, so if you don't have a nail gun at home, just use some screws. That would totally do. And we do have some nails. There we take our lengths. 560 bit, otherwise your hatch won't fit. That's why your timber's got to be 560, even if you've got to spread it a little bit. So we haven't even put screw uh, nails in yet. So we're gonna measure 560 out. You should be able to follow your follow your hole. If you follow your hole. Because you know your holes. Yeah, yeah. The hole is, uh, yeah. Just over. Yeah. We'll get it in there. Lean up and over, shoot back in. Lock it. You might I don't think you can do the other same with the other side because of the The fear is they put weight on them, like yeah. if they're, as they're climbing through. So this is why I through the truck, through the truss is way stronger.
screw the rest in. Pretty much ready for the uh, access panel. Just gonna get it a bit above here. There we go. Now we get it out hole and just slot it in there like that. And then uh, we undo this. It's always good to have someone that can possibly help when you're doing it but we'll get one screw in and then so these flaps fold up like this yeah you want to try to straighten the bead before you start or not you go no i get a tack inside and i have to hold it in my head you're gonna nail proud in the sheet on this edge yeah that's true might have to get rid of that first day eh? yeah Not as easy as what you think making videos for us. Yeah. Uncle Eugene yelling at me. He's yes. giving me dirty looks behind the camera. Yes. Yes. We do things. We went to different colleges. <laughs> yeah, he went to a girls' college. Yep. He went to an all girls' school. Alright, you just focus on the cam, Cam Smith. Alrighty, so, where were we? Take five. Take five, man, hold on. Use your head. Alrighty, so I'll do it this way so you can see. I'll pick it up with my head, pull my drill out, get a screw ready. Yeah, bang. Take these flaps out. Flaps up. Flaps up. Alright. I will adjust it, but I'll just get it so it doesn't fall on my head. And then we'll make it good. Alrighty. Make it good. So I'll do this side over here. That way it can hold itself up. I think you're gonna have to angle him up, get him pull up or something, or straighten the angles. You, it's so hard to straighten them when they're when they're up, when they're proud. Yeah, mm. like you can't unproud it. <laughs> yeah. Or I haven't. You'll adjust to your fins. Check your fins. Don't coin. Bit of silver coin, guys. Perfect. Make sure it doesn't flap on my head. And yes, it looks like this side. Yeah, it's maybe too far in. It's worth spending the time to get the angles right and to get everything right. Pretty sure you should screw these under the trusses, not the knobs that you put in. Which I didn't think of. But lucky we did that right. Gonna fix up these beads, make sure they're back via some staples and set around it. And that's it.
was right when he was telling me to fix those um, <coughs> setting beads. Um, get them nice and straight before you put it up. Uh, so you can see how a bit. But it will, it'll turn out alright. But right. yeah, make sure they're nice. So when you put it up, they just that they're right. They're right, they're not wavy. And they're going in. Um, but actually, it's not too bad. It'll do. That's not my jurisdiction. I don't have a ticket for whatever. That's not super locked either, so. It'd be funny if it swung down and smacked um, it. Heads up, eh? Hey? Heads up. Good advice, bad advice. Uh, I'm gonna let him down to get lick the sides. Hang on. No, gap's a gap. That's it. Manhole installation complete. Just got to put another couple of coats on. We did miss the second and final coat and the sand. But it's in.